Alright, hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Plane Mechanics Simulator. Uh, we already started last week, did a few simple missions. We were in the Bristol Blenheim. Yeah, Bristol Blenheim. Uh, thank you so much for uh, spending your valuable time watching this and let's get into it. Continue game. Uh, we're gonna go to the hangar. No, we were on the hangar last time, so let's go to the airfield. We'll do 1 o'clock. We'll switch off between doing the hangar and the airfield. Okay, here we are. So the left engine is problem with starting. When it's cold, it runs unevenly. The right engine howls and running. Okay, so we need to fix both the left and right engine. Wow, that is sensitive. Hold on a second. Way down. There we go, that's a little better. Okay. So both the engines are having issues. So we want to get into inspect mode. And just inspect all these parts. So it's an issue with the starter. What would that be? Cylinder. So these are all the cylinders for the engine. Luckily we can access all this. Oh. Is it these rods that are damaged? Or is it just that one? I guess we'll have to check all of them. Cylinder's fine, there's the rod. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It might just be sometimes this game tricks you and multiple things are broken. And you don't know that. Yep, see? The second one's damaged. That one's damaged. What about this one? That one's fine, okay. So it looks like we gotta replace these three, so we're gonna go to remove. No. 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 No, okay, those sir. have to come out. No, sir. Okay, wait. No. 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 Okay, we really have to take no. all this out. Okay. Propeller screw, propeller, all no. this stuff. Oh, get out the blades. No. No. Propeller screw. No. Take out the engine car right up this. Now we just wait for them all to unscrew. Kind of annoying. This, uh, this game often is annoying where you, I might find out I didn't need to disassemble this whole engine, but... This game sometimes does that. So, just gotta wait now for another minute. Come on. Almost there, I think. I really don't know if it's almost there. There we go, okay. Probably reduction drive. No. No. Okay. Get that. The cam sleeve out of there. No, sir. Nope. Oh, yep, I just had to take off the engine cover. Wonderful. Uh, no. Engine cover. Let's... I want to zoom out here. Let's see. Let's just zoom out. No. Oh, mouse wheel. There we go. Oh, okay. No. So can we take these guys out now? Oh, okay, we'll take off the bottom covers, I guess. I feel like we should be able to remove them no. now. No. Oh. Oh. It's just the no. rocker box that's in the way. No. 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 Oh, do I have to take off? Okay. Gonna take all this off. That's one thing this game does is before you know how to access the part, oftentimes you end up disassembling the whole thing just to. No. No? Nope. What's stopping me from taking off the front cover? Oh. No. Why won't no. it tell me what's no. stopping it? Air intake pipes. Oh. Really, I gotta disassemble all of this. Okay. Yeah, let's see. No, sir. Wait, no. do I even have to disassemble them? No, I don't. No. Valve. Oh, no, I just have to get the valves out. Okay, well, I'm just going to skip ahead to once I've done all these, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we have, I have now taken apart, taken out all the damaged parts. I also just repaired the propeller. But let's see here. Can we repair these parts? No, we can't. So we're just going to go buy some new cam follower rods. All right. Turn the parts. Replace these three. Replace parts. Okay. All that's replaced. 
now we're just gonna head right back to the engine and remount the cam follower rods and hopefully it'll say it's completed once it, yep there we go it's repaired so now rocker box going in and then there are four little valves as you see you have to put in and then this engine is back together and we can figure out what's wrong with the other engine those are really hard to click on. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. Let's get this next rocker box back in place. Yeah, and we wait. There we go. One valve. Two valves, three valves, and four valves. Oh, nope. Four valves. Okay, then just one last rocker box to place. Get all these back together. Alright. Valve number one. Come on. Valve number two. There we go. Valve number three. And valve number four. Okay. Now we're just going to close this engine up, and I'll see you once it's closed. Alright, the engines are now... Or this left engine is now closed up, and let's head to the right engine. What's the problem with the right engine? problem with noise from the right engine. Wait. Right engine howls while running. That doesn't sound good. So let's see what's wrong here. Um, we're going to go into inspect mode. Let's check out all these parts. All these are good. Let's see, engine cover. That should be fine. I feel like that might be like an exhaust problem. I think the main exhaust pipe is down here. Engine bottom cover. Yeah, I feel like you know it's howling as the exhaust, but I don't know. Let's just check all these cylinders. Cam sleeve. No. All right. I'm not gonna check all those. Um, what were they called? Those cam rods, whatever they were called, because I don't think it would give me the same issue twice. Propeller screw is fine. Let's grab the front propeller screw. Reduction drive, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. No, that was a follower rod. All those are fine, okay. Spark plug cable. No, howling. I feel like that would be an exhaust issue. Okay, you know what? Let me open this thing up. Now we're gonna go here. Let's just take off all these covers. Open up this engine and see what we can find. Cylinder, rocker box, air intake pipe. Okay, wait, I just saw the turbocharger. I want to check that. Turbocharger, where was that? No, turbocharger's fine. Um, air intake pipes. Could it be any of these? Exhaust pipes, yes. I feel like it could be the exhaust. Still learning these engines so I don't know where everything is. Is there a rocker box? I think it's fine. Another exhaust pipe. Another one. Okay. I might have to take off the bottom cover to get to the last ones. We'll see. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to at least take this off. Okay, get stuck under the plane. Just take the bottom cover off as well. Luckily, these cover screws don't take that long to get out. They're very fast. So let's see now. The exhaust pipes. It could be actually be the intake as well. That's howling. Let's see, air intake pipes. Yeah. 
this doesn't work, then I'm lost as to what's wrong. Exhaust pipe, exhaust pipe, another intake. Huh, this is weird. Could it be one of the rocker boxes? I guess, but I don't see how that would be howling. I see the exhaust, there'd be some sort of blockage or something where it's forcing the exhaust through a smallish hole and that's causing howling or the turbocharger it's spinning too fast. Not too fast, but it's spinning up and that's causing it to howl because turbochargers can make that sound. I guess I'll check all the rocker boxes. My last idea would be there's uh, there's um something inside the propeller box, I'm pretty sure. So I want to disassemble the whole propeller. Um, yeah. Okay. Spark plug cable. I don't see how that would be howling. Um, is there any, like, further back part of the engine that I can access? Not really, no. Okay. So, let's just take all this off again. Nope. Probably screw. Alright, engine cover. Now, I think there's something under here, besides the reduction drive, that we can check out. If not, then I just did all that for nothing. And we wait for these screws. Why can't these screws be as fast as the screws on the engine cover? can't switch modes while it's doing this or it cancels so I can't inspect that I was gonna inspect whatever that is but I don't think that you can the whole engine fits within here okay oh great I already got to all that let's just see I was about to take off the reduction drive oh the crankshaft could be the crankshaft reduction drive mounting gear okay no. let's still Crankshaft, rear cam bearing, could be this, front cam ring, bearing, ah, there's one damaged bearing, deep in the engine, that's what it was, take that bearing off, okay, well that took way too long, let's see if we can repair it, we cannot repair it, so, we go here, Hopefully this is the only bearing that needs to be fixed. Okay, replace. Replace parts. Now let's see if this fixes it, otherwise there's probably another bearing. No. Yep, fix the problem with noise. It was just one loose bearing. Okay. Well, I'm going to put this engine back together. I'll see you in a minute. Alright, the engine is back together, and... Yep. All of our tests have been completed, so let's complete this mission and move on to the next one. And that one took quite a while, so I think we'll just do one more for today, depending on how long this next one is. Perfect job, woohoo. I think once you get more merit points, like the next level, you get more um, complicated tasks. Repair the problem with starting the left engine. Okay, are we going to have the same thing with those crank rods? That's what I'm going to go immediately towards. So, remove this top cover, since that's what you need to access these things. Actually, you can just access them from the front. Let's just see here. Go here. The cam... Oh, no, not the crank rods. The cam follower rod. Because these were the issue before. There are actually two on each one that we need to inspect. I did learn that. That. I noticed last time there were two. Luckily, we happened to be lucky and get all the bad ones on the outside, but I could have missed some. Grab that guy, and grab that guy. Okay, if it's not these, I want to check maybe the spark plugs, because it could be that. And if it's not the spark plugs, uh, can I check the fuel injection system? I don't know. Alright, yeah, it's not those. So let's check, yeah, spark plug cable. Let's check the turbocharger just for the sake of it. Yeah, it's fine. So, yep. Keep checking the spark plug cables. That's my next idea as to what is wrong here. 
Nope, not those. Okay. So far, so good. Try. I don't want so far so good. I want to find the bad ones. Yeah, but I think eventually, like, you'll just get a plane that says the engine is completely dead. Fix it. So, yeah. Although, also, I think you eventually also get to, like, patch bullet holes, which would be kind of cool. I don't want the air intake. Although, that could be an issue with starting it. I mean, an engine could not be starting for any reason. You know, right? a piston could be broken for all I know. I don't know if that would stop it from starting, but... Okay, let's just get rid of this cover here. Oh, we're inside the plane. Oh, I'm I'm stuck in the plane. There we go, I got out. Alright, uh, back to this mode. Check all these guys. Pristine, pristine. Pristine, pristine, okay. Let's back out. Now let's take this guy off. Well, you can switch modes while doing that. I don't know if you can actually inspect other stuff. Guess I can check that while doing the bottom one. Here, while I take off the bottom one, I'm going to try to inspect something else. So while this goes, I'm going to try to inspect the bottom. Oh yeah, I can do that. Interesting. Well, that's good to know. Not the cylinder, there's the cable. Where's my cable? There we go. Spark plug cable. Spark plug cable. Spark plug cable. Yeah, there's still some on here. I wonder, should I be checking the actual spark plugs? Oh wait, am I actually just checking the spark plugs with this first one? I don't know, because I maybe should have actually been checking the spark plugs. Yeah, you gotta get deep in there to actually find the spark plugs. Could be an issue, not with the cable, but with the spark plugs themselves. Cause it's not just one big ignition coil on this plane. I don't know why it's not, but it's not. It's being annoying to access like this engine spark plugs. Um, there we go. Spark plug. That's fine. Spark plug. That's fine. Spark plug. That's fine. Spark plug's fine. Cable. Cable, that's fine. Let's check the actual plug here. Already got that one, okay. Spark plug. Let's check the cable on this one. Never did that one. Hmm. Okay, this one is being a bit annoying. Um, check that spark plug. It's hard to tell when you've actually checked a spark plug because it's, yeah, it looks pretty. Oh, that was the cylinder, not the spark plug. Okay. That's fine. Spark plug's fine. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting now. Oh, didn't do that one. Didn't do that one. But I want to say that they're all fine. Hmm. Cam sleeve, I don't know. Let me just inspect all this easy to find outer stuff. Just because. So we'll check that, that. I doubt it's any of this to affect the starting of the engine, but I mean, I'll just check it because I can. Exhaust pipe, oh, that's fine. Hmm, why would this not be starting? Okay, let's check the rocker boxes. I wish I could find where all the fuel system is because. That would be my next idea, is that fuel is not getting to the engine. That would prevent it from starting. Okay. No. Huh. Okay, I guess we'll just finish checking all the cylinders. Okay. Okay, actually one thing I want to do here. No. No, I'd have sir. to disassemble all that. Um... 
I'll check all the air intake and exhaust pipes, I guess. Air's not getting in. I'm lost here. <sighs> okay. Well, this is taking forever. These are the only parts I can't access back here, so that's not really useful for me. Um, okay, get all these exhaust pipes. Why would this... I guess I'll take apart the propeller assembly and see what I can find in here that might be broken. No. No. What's your problem? Oh, I took that out. That out. No, sir. And we wait for the engine cover to come off. Taking that off won't really help me because there's nothing in there that I can examine. It's just the eggs, ends of the exhaust pipes. And off. Nope. Got two more screws, I think. Then it will come off. Okay. Take off the reduction drive. Take that off. Okay. Bearing. Okay. Crankshaft. Okay. Rear cam ring. Okay. Front cam ring. Okay. No. No. No, sir. No. No. Uh, okay, no. if I want to no. get into the no. deep part of the engine. No. No. Uh, okay, then. Well, this has been going on for long enough for an episode. So, I will just pick this up where we left off for next week's episode. I want to thank you very much for coming out and spending your valuable time watching this. If you like it, you can look in the description for the link to my Twitch channel, as well as my Discord and the Studio 9 Discord. I want to thank you so much for spending your valuable time again watching this, and I'll see you on later episodes. Bye.